Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today I'm here with another uh, in my series of Status Pro baseball games. As I said, I would start doing more Status Pro on the channel. <clears throat> um, and uh, as you, <clears throat> as I may have mentioned before, I have the 1978 set in cards that are already made. Um, I know that you can get the others online. You can get other seasons, a whole bunch of other seasons online for free or very low cost. But then you have to print them out, and uh, that's also a little bit of a, uh, a challenge for me at the moment. So, what we're doing is we're just going to stick with the '78 set for at least a couple of games. And you see, I've got my Status Pro board out, and I have an overhead view, which is hopefully better uh, this time. Uh, for everybody to see. Um, and today, you'll recall that uh, the last time, and I will put that in the uh, on the end screen, uh, the last time I played the New York Yankees against the Oakland A's, an American League matchup that was a serious mismatch. And so in this game, we're going to have a National League mismatch, and it's going to be the uh, 1978 Reds versus the 1978 uh, Chicago Cubs. And as you recall, uh, the 1978 uh, Yankees, or you may not recall, but it's a fact, that the 1978 Yankees were the world champions. They won the American League and the World Series over the 1978 Reds, I believe. So... Um, <clears throat> We are getting both um, league champions in the first two games. Today's pitching matchup will be, um, and I apologize for the glare on the board. There's some things you might not be able to see because of the glare, but that's from the overhead light and kind of need the overhead light. Uh, today's pitching matchup will be Tom Seaver, and there is his card. That's his status pro card. And... Uh, he will be going up against Dennis Lamp, and there is Dennis Lamp's card. Also, I want to get a disclaimer in here. I am filming this the way that it's supposed to be filmed, with the uh, with the camera horizontal, but for whatever reason, sometimes when I go to do the editing, the, um, the camera angle turns out vertical, and then I have to readjust it through editing to make it horizontal again and that causes some blurriness so if there's things that you can't see I apologize for that uh, I've set it up as as well as I could and better than the last time but it will um, you know it, it may be challenging to sometimes see things um, but you know, I'm going. I'm also going to do the play-by-play, -play and we will we'll go from there. So, the uh, visiting team is the uh, Chicago Cubs. One thing I don't, I can't get used to with Status Pro is that the visiting team is on the right-hand side as I'm looking at the board, and the home team is on the left-hand side. I'm used to it the other way around. <clears throat> but you know, we'll. Uh, We'll go along with whatever we have to do here. So, um, Tom Seaver is a uh, pitcher reduction of 13. So, his token starts at 13, and so is Dennis Lamp. And both Tom Seaver and Dennis Lamp are uh, pitcher control 2 to 7. So, with that, we will start with the first pitch to the first batter for the um, Cubs, and that is Yvonne De Jesus. And it's a PB11, so this is going to be on um, De Jesus's card. De Jesus will be in control, and uh, it is a 55. And 55 on his card is an out. He is a right. As he's an RN. RN is a G5 with a possible error. So let me go get the charts. Uh, base is empty. G5 star. Ground out third to first. We will pick for the air. 
and uh, there is no error. So he goes third to first, which is um, five to three. The next batter is Bobby Mercer, and he draws um, a nine, which is still outside of Seaver's range, so it's going to be on Bobby Mercer's card. He will be in control, and he gets a 16, which is a pretty good pick. He's got a first base. He's got a single, so there is a single for Bobby Mercer. And that is going to be a reduction of one from Tom Seaver's card. The next batter is Bill Buckner, Billy Buck. That is a PB7. So um, this time uh, Seaver is in charge. And uh, the random card number draw is 34, which is a strikeout. So uh, Bill Buckner strikes out, <clears throat> and there is two down with one man at first base for the Cubs, and the PB number is a five, so um, Seaver is in charge in this one. And that's a 73, which is going to be an out, and we will see what the out uh, number is. It, uh, the, next, and the next batter is Kingman. Kong, and he is an RP right-handed power hitter, so it's F4 with no um, error on the play, and uh, let's see, man on first, F4, and that is a foul out to second, back of first, runners hold, so that is going to be it for the Cubs. pop out to four. So we will go to the bottom of the first and the reds are up. I have to put Kingman on the bottom so he doesn't come up next. Pete Rose is the batter against Lamp. That is a PB3 so Lamp is in charge. And the uh, card is a 53, which is going to be an out. And the out is, um, uh, he rose is uh, an SN. And SN is L5. And L5 is a line out to third. Line out to five, one down. The next batter is Joe Morgan. That is a PB7, so Dennis Lamp is in charge. The random card is a 35. That is a walk. So we get a base on balls for Joey Morgan with one down. And the next batter with one out and one on is Ken Griffey senior and the PB is a seven so that's going to be on Lamps card and it is a draw of 52 that will be an out and Griffey is an LN so um, I'll go out G4 with a possible error so let's see G4 is a double play grounder short to first, so that would be the end of the inning if there isn't an error here, and there isn't. So he does go 6-4-3. Um, and the Reds are out of the inning. Or the Reds, well, the Reds are done batting. And they get no runs. And we go to the top of the second. And that brings up Manny Trio for the Cubs. That's a PB2, so Seaver is in charge. It is a card 43. That means that it's a strikeout. So 
Um, trio strikes out. There is one down. Next one's a PB6. That is within Seaver's range. Oh, and also we forgot to reduce Lamp one from last inning. Um, that is a random 87. That's definitely going to be an out. And the out is... Um, the batter is Greg Gross, who is an LN. Um, LN is G4 with a possible error. That is a ground out second to first, but let's see if there was an error. There isn't one, so second to first is 4 to 3 for Gross, and that brings up Steve Ontiveris. For the Cubs, he gets a six, which is within Seaver's range, so Seaver's in charge, and it's an 86, which is also an out, um, and he is an SN. SN is F9. F9, um... Is a fly out to right field. I should know that by now. And so he is out. And uh, let's see. Yeah. All right. So that is, that's the end of the inning for the Cubs. Fly out to nine. We go to the bottom of the second. And uh, George Foster was the last out. And I forget how he got out, so I'm just going to... Or wait a minute, no. There was an out, and then there was a six. Yeah, okay, all right, no he wasn't. So George Foster is up. George Foster's the batter here in the bottom of the second. Uh, you have a PB10, so George Foster is the one that's in charge here. And uh, random 47, which is... A strikeout. So George Foster gets a K. Lamp gets a K. They all get K's. PB6. Um, Dennis Lamp is in charge with the batter being Johnny Bench. And he gets a random 85. That is going to be an out. And all go G5 with a possible error. Um, G5 is a uh, ground out to third. And let's see if there's an error. There is none, so he goes five to three. And that brings up with two outs, that brings up Dan Dreesen. That is a PB7, Lamp is in charge on this. And it is a random 65, which is an out. He is an LN. So with an LN you have a um, F8 which is a fly out to center field. So that is it for the Reds and we are still in a 0-0 game as we head to the top of the third inning. With Steve Ontiveris, I believe. No, no, he was out. He was the last out. So we got Dave Rader, the catcher, for the uh, for the Cubs. He has a PB7, which is in Seaver, on Seaver's card. And it's a random 13, which is going to be a single. So you got Dave Rader aboard. Um, let's see. Yeah. He gets a single, and that brings up the pitcher, Dennis Lamp, and I am going to um, sacrifice sacrifice Bunt. We're going to pick a card for that. It is a PB seven, or it's a uh, it's a random sixty eight. Uh, sixty eight lead runner tagged out catcher. To lead base batter safe. So um, 
we have the same situation as far as the base running except that there's an out and lamp did not get down a good bunt so that'll be a fielder's choice and then we go to De Jesus um, as the next batter the back to the top of the lineup it's a PB4 so Tom Seavers in charge and it is a 46 which is a walk so now with one out Tom Seavers in a little bit of trouble and that is also I have to reduce him too I didn't reduce him too so uh, for two men being on base and uh, the next batter is Baba Mercer Bobby Mercer's up and it's a PB4 so receivers in charge the random card uh, selection is a 63 which is an out and Mercer is an LN LN the LN reading is 5 F9 which is a fly out to right field um, two out and let's see here and that brings up with two outs that brings up Billy Buck Bill Buckner coming up for the Cubs it is a PB6 which is within Seaver's range and it's a random card 87 which is an out and we will see what kind of an out all go G3 which is a ground out to the second baseman but we see if there is a is if there is an error and there isn't one so that is a ground out five to th or four to three or wait a uh, whatever I mean it's an out so it might have been the third baseman I'm not sure but we'll give it to second base so we are going to the bottom of the third with the Reds sending up Concepcion yep uh, Concepcion is up PB9 so it is on Concepcion's card and it's a random 25 which is um, a first uh, a single to right field so Concepcion gets a single and that brings Lamp down one more um, the next guy is Caesar Geronimo with a PB7 so Lamp is in charge and it's a 14 14 is a, a single to left field so you've got um, runners at first and second with nobody out here in the third and that is a bad spot for the pitcher Tom Seaver to come up again we will sacrifice the random card is a 33 that is um, let's see batter out third to first runners advance on the sacrifice so it is a successful sacrifice runners are at second and third with one away um, Seaver gets a sack runners move up and now you got runners at second and third with one out and the Cubs are going to bring the infield in I had it on in but it shouldn't have been um, for Pete Rose and uh, it's going to be a PB3 so Dennis Lamp is in charge on this and it's a 22 which is going to be um, a single to right or yeah single to right field they're just gonna hold the runners and play station to station I mean we are playing the Cubs and they weren't that good in 1978 I don't think so you got a single a run scores man goes to third uh, you have a um, an RBI for 
uh, for rows, right? Yeah, RBI for rows. Where are those? There they are. So, um, they're going to play the infield back with an out and hope for a double play. Got a PB10, though, for the next batter, who is Joe Morgan. And so Joe Morgan's in charge, and that's an 18. Not good. That's going to be a, a single or a double to uh, center field. So we're going to have the runner stop at third again, but another run comes in. And Joe Morgan with a double. And the only reason I'm not doing the... You know, sending the runners is because I'm not really that advanced and up on the game right now. So I'm just going to hold runners. They're going to take whatever bases they would normally get by not extending the run. Um, but that is that does put runners at second and third with still only one out. And the infield will come in for the Cubs for... Uh, Ken Griffey, and that is a PB5. That means that Lamp is in charge on this one, and that's a 73, which is going to be an out, and he is an LN, and the LN reading is GX4. So it's a ground ball to second base with a possible error, I think, um, but with runners at second and third. A GX4 is an infield, with the infield in, the batter is out, second to first, and runners hold. All right, so there's two outs now, and uh, that um, was four to three. And that should bring up Foster. With two down, runners at second and third, Two runs in for the Reds right here in this inning. A PB7 means that, that Dennis Lamp is in charge, and that is a 22. And the random 22 is not good. That's a first uh, single to uh, left field, or single to right field. So another run comes in. Foster with a single, and he gets an RBI. And also. Who else got an RBI? I think Morgan got an RBI. And the third run now comes in. And it's 3 nothing. And now, uh, after George Foster, is Johnny Bench. Johnny Bench gets a 9, which is outside of... Dennis Lamp, so it's on Bench's card, and it's a random 28. Again, not good news, I don't think. It is a home run! Johnny Bench hits a three-run homer. So, clear them all. He gets three RBIs on that. And now they have a commanding lead. Six nothing. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, six nothing. And that brings up Dan Dreesen. And Dan Dreesen gets a nine, which means Dan Dreesen is in charge. And it's a 31 on Dan Dreesen's card, which is a home run. Dan Dreesen follows that up with another home run. So back to back homers for the Reds. And an RBI for Dan Dreesen. And a home run. And it is 7 nothing. And we're back to the top of the lineup, or back to the, uh, to the top of the lineup from the top of this inning with Dave Concepcion. And that's an 8, so it's not going to be on Concepcion's card. And also, I think we've got a tired lamp by now because he's, yeah. All right, so really we're looking on, uh, he, by now he's tired. So we're just looking on Dave Concepcion's card. Um, and that's a 42, which is a strikeout. So Dave Concepcion strikes out. 
finally mercifully he strikes out and uh Dennis Lamp, you know, I'm sure by now has whittled all those um, points down. So he will not be pitching when we go back out there. But um, the 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 uh, Cubs are up now. However, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The Reds did score seven runs in the third. So let's see. Is it Bill Buckner that's up? Uh, no, it is Kingman. Kingman is up top of the fourth. That is a PB, a CD, so we're just going to go to the next card because the bases are empty. Somebody told me that if it's a CD reading and there's nobody on, you just go to the next card. Uh, which I'm more than happy to do because I don't want to be looking at other charts if I don't have to. It's a four, so it falls on Seaver's card, and that's an 84, which is going to be an out. And he is a, an RP, Kingman is, and all go right field, out to right field. So that's going to be F9 and one down. That brings up Manny Trio, who gets a uh, two, which is in C on Seaver's card. And a 16, which is uh, going to be uh, first base, or a single to center field, so that'll knock him down one more. Trio with a single. Then you got a blank card, so you're going to redraw, and you got a 6, which falls within Seaver's card for um, the next batter, who is Greg Gross. And Greg Gross um, gets a, uh, okay, and he gets a 44 on Seaver's card, which is a walk. So, two guys are on. That knocks Seaver down to an 8. That's what I've got. The Cubs with a little bit of a thing going, but they're down 7 nothing. And Steve Ontiveros is up, and he gets a PB3, which is going to be on Seaver's card with him in control. But that's a 34, and a 34 is a strikeout. So I believe that's two down. Ontiveros out. And that brings up uh, Dave Rader, the catcher. You got a PB, BD, um, BD is, um, what is that? Yeah, BD charts. Use only when men are on base. So you do have to use this when men are on base. Uh, the random card is a 42. And that is, he is a BD zero. So BD zero is um, on a 42 is no action occurs, return to normal play. What does that mean? No action occurs. All right. So I guess we're just going to go back and try it again with the, the, now you got a CD, which is a clutch defense, but. Um, I, I don't know. I guess we have to do that if there's men on base. So, um, I guess we find out who it's hit in a CD. Um, I'll go G2, which would be the catcher, who is Johnny Bench. And he is a, um... He is a one. So um, let's see. CD one fifty three. Uh, 
Um, well, I don't know where the catcher is. It says first base, second base, third base, shortstop, pitcher. Um, hmm. Is it over here? I don't see it over here. Uh, all right, I'm just going to go to the next card. PB11, that falls outside of Seaver's range for Raider, and it's a card 44, which is a walk and loads the bases. So, um, like I said, if I don't know what happened, I'm just going to say we're, we're going to the next card or it's an out. So, that is a walk, and that, that lowers Seaver to a 7. Now the bases are loaded, and um, the pitcher is up, but they're not certainly gonna, not going to let um, Lamp bat. They are going to instead... let Rodney Scott bat. So Rodney Scott will bat for him. That is a PB5, which is within Seaver's range, and it is a card 75, which is an out, and he is an SN. Um, SN is a fly out five, um, or foul out five? F5. F5 with the bases loaded. Let's see what that is. Bases loaded, F5, is, uh, hmm, pop out, or pop fly out, runner's hold. All right, so he was out and there wasn't, um, that didn't have an air thing next to it, so that's going to be Rodney Scott. who pops out to um, the third baseman. And the Cubs got no runs in that inning, although they did threaten. We'll put Rodney Scott back. We will figure out who's going to pitch for the uh, Cubs now. And uh, that is going to be it's going to be Lynn McLaughlin is going to come in, and he is a five, so we'll start him at five, which is really not all that great. He's a uh, five is a reliever is where he starts. Um, yes, and De Jesus will be up next, and he is a righty, so we'll get the. Same card we were just using. And zero runs in the fourth. We go to the bottom of the fourth where the Reds will now bat um, against Lynn McLaughlin. And I believe that... Uh, did Concepcion make the last out? He did. So this is going to be Cesar Geronimo is the new batter for the Reds. And that is a PB8, which uh, McLaughlin is not in charge. So this will be on Geronimo's card. And that's a 63, which is an out. And he's an LN. And I'll go F3, which is um, probably a pop-out to first base. Base is empty, five, F3 is foul out to first, so same difference. Um, Geronimo, pop out to three, one down. 
Next batter is the pitcher, Seaver. Uh, PB8, so Seaver is in charge, and it is a roll of 73, which is an out on Seaver's card, and he is um, an R, what is he? An RN, which uh, is a fly out to left field. And then that brings up the top of the order, Pete Rose. He gets a three, which is within the control of Lynn McLaughlin, and it's a 67, which is an out. And we will, in a second here, be picking a card to determine what happens. We'll turn the deck upside down. And all go G1 with a possible error. G1 is a ground out pitcher to first. And the error is 3 to 10. Error 3 to 10. So um, I don't know what that means. Um, error. The pitcher was the one who was making the play, so it's um, an error one. So I think it's a one base error on the pitcher. So that is an error that, um, oh yeah, I forgot to put in McLaughlin. He goes, what did he go? Three innings? Just three innings. He gave up a ton of hits, but we're not going to bother with that, whatever. But he does make an error. One base error, so that's going to lower him one. Um, and then take us to the next batter. Not really, again, not 100% familiar with this game, so I might be doing things wrong, but, you know, I think I'm mostly doing it right. Uh, the next one is an 8, which is outside of McLaughlin's control, so it's on Morgan's card. Um, oh, yeah, and he gets an e E1. He got on by an E1. Um, and then... Um, yeah, it's, it's on Morgan's card. And it's a 77, which is an out. And he is an LP. LP is L5. Line out to the third baseman with no error. So that's, I think, two down. No, that's it. That's the inning. Um, yeah. Yeah. Line out to five. So that is going to be it for the Reds. In the fourth, we go to the top of the fifth. Uh, top of the fifth, you have, I believe, the Jesus is up, right? Yes, he is. The Jesus is up at the plate. That is a random card seven, which falls on Seaver's card, and it is a 54 which is an out and the jesus is an rn rn is an f7 which is a fly out to left field one down and that brings up baba mercer bobby mercer gets a 10 that's outside of seaver's control so it's on mercer's card he gets a 25 which is a double to um, left field. So that's going to reduce uh, Seaver another one. And it's a double. Uh, the next guy is Bill Buckner. That is a PB3, so it's within Seaver's control. And it's a 61, which is an out. And the 
out, he is an LN. LN is a, a line out to five, line out to the third baseman. So that's two down. And that brings up our main man, Dave Kingman. He gets a nine, which means it's on his card. And it is um, an 87. So he's going to be out. He's an RP, all go um, ground out six with a possible error. Let's see, runner at second. Man on second, and that was a GX6. Ground out short to first, runner to third, except, uh, let's see if there was an error. There was no error, so. Um, short to first, he's out, which is six to three. And no runs come in for the Cubs, and who are losing seven nothing as we go to the bottom of the fifth inning. Taking so long because we had a big inning by the Reds back in the third, where they scored seven runs and lead seven to nothing right now. So Ken Griffey is up against Lynn McLaughlin, who's still out there. It's a PB6, so it will be within um, McLaughlin's card. And it's a 12, which is going to be a first base a hit to uh, left field. Knocks him down to a 3, and that's Griffey with the single. The next guy is George Foster. He gets a PB6, which is within McLaughlin's card and control. It is a 46, which is going to be a, a walk. That's a walk. Holy crap. McLaughlin is already in trouble. Two on, no outs, with Johnny Bench up. He gets a six, which is within McLaughlin's card, but of course that hasn't been helping him. 53 is an out. He is an RP. RP is an FD8. So let's see what FD8 is. Um, FD8 with runners at second and third. Or been on first and second. FD8 is fly out deep center field. Runners hold. OBRA or a, B, or C, runner on second to third. And the runner on second is, um, is Griffey. And he is an A, so he'll go to third. And that is w only one out. Um, fly out for bench to center field. And that is a PB9 for the next batter, who is Dan Dreesen, and it will be on Dreesen's card because he is not in charge. And that is a PB5, or a random 66. Random 66 is an out. And uh, he is an LN. All go F8, fly out to right. Let's see if runner with runners at first and third, if the guy scores on F8. Um... F8 is fly out to center field, runners hold, OBR A or B on third scores, and he is. So that's another run. So that is a run scoring uh, fly ball for, um, for Dreesen. Yeah, because that's only the second out. 
F8 with an R with his uh, second RBI of the game, and another run comes in, and that is another one off of McLaughlin who will be out next inning. That is a BD clutch batter with uh, Dave Concepcion up. He is a zero, and that is a pick of 23. Or wait a minute, is he a BD zero? Yes, he is. A BD zero, pick of 23, is um, double to right center. Is that right? Holy crap. Double to right center, all runners score. So... Uh, it gets worse. <laughs> Double, he, um, what's that, Conce yeah, it was Concepcion with a two-run double, or with a one-run double. I think, yeah. And, um, Foster scored. So they got two runs, and now Lynn McLaughlin is gassed, and we go to the next batter, who is Cesar Geronimo. It's a PB, or it's definitely off of Geronimo's card, so we'll just go to the random card reading, which is a 58, which is an out, and he is an LN, which is all go G4 with a possible error. So that's a ground out. To second with a possible error, and the error is none. So there, he did. He got out. He went um, four to three, but not before the Reds get two more runs and now lead nine nothing, going to the top of the sixth. And uh, that brings up, I believe, trio right for the. Cubs in the top of the sixth, yes. Trio is up. He gets a seven, which is on Seaver's card, and that is a 34, random 34, which is a strikeout. So Trio with a K, one away. Uh, that's a PB7 uh, for the next guy, which is Greg Gross, and it is, again, on Seaver's card. That is a 57, which is going to be an out. And he is an LN, which is an L4, which is a line out to the second baseman, two away. And then that brings up Steve Ontiveros. And Steve Ontiveros... It's a nine, which is he it means he's in control. And that's a 72, though. And that's gonna be an out. He's an SN. SN is a fly a, a pop or a foul ball to the third baseman. So they are done in that inning. And the Cubs are. We go to the bottom of the sixth with the score nine-nothing reds. And we are going to bring in another pitcher for the Cubs. The new pitcher will be Ray Burris. And Ray Burris is an RR7, so he'll start up at 7. And he is a, he does throw right, so the same batter, pitcher batter card will stay in the lineup. Um, and the pitcher is up, which is Tom Seaver. For the Reds um, in the bottom of the sixth. That is a PB6, which means that um, Seaver is in charge, but that's not even really necessarily good. It's a 72, which is an out. He is an RN, or uh, what is he, an RN. And all go F5, which is a foul out uh, to third base. So he follows out to third with one down. We go to Pete Rose. 
that's a nine, which is outside of Burris's range. So it's Rose's card we're looking at, but it's an 87, which is an out. And he is an SN, all go G3, which is a ground ball to the first baseman with a possible error. And the error is none. So um, that is a ground out to three. That's two down. And Joe Morgan, these guys must be gassed after all the runs they've scored. PB8, which is outside of Burris's range, so it's on Morgan's card. And it's a 17, which is a double to left field, which will reduce Burris one. And that is a double by... Um, Morgan puts him at second with two down and Ken Griffey is up and Ken Griffey gets an eight which is outside of Burris's range so it's on Griffey's card and it's a 58 which is an out and it's an LN but I'll go F6 which is a um, uh, foul out to the shortstop so So they go down uh, in that inning. They did get a man on base, but they didn't do anything else. We go to the top of the seventh where the um, Cubs are now batting. Still against Seaver, who is still out there and might as well be. Griffey made the last out, right? Oh, yeah, I put that on the I think I put that on the... Uh, So I think Foster will be the next guy. Um, so Antaveras is up. Wait a minute, where are we? We're at the top of the seventh, so the Cubs are up. Antaveras is up. He gets a... PB6, I think I wrongly recorded as him being out um, last inning, but anyway. Um, yeah. I think it should be the pitcher spot. Or Raider. Raider should be out because there couldn't have been four outs. So Raider should be out. Raider is up. Um, and that is a um, random 18, which is a second base eight. So Raider hits a double. Raider hitting a double. And that will reduce another one off a of Seaver's card. With the pitcher up, they're not, they don't really care. They're just going to bunt. Um, we'll pick a random card. 51. Sacrifice chart on 51 is, um, he is a sacrifice. What is he? Sacrifice BB. So, and this was, what, a 51? 51 BB is a batter out, third to first, runners advance. So it's a good sacrifice. Runner goes to second. So this was, um, this was Burris. Give him a sack. We go to DeJesus. They aren't going to bother to bring the infield in because they don't really care. Nor should they really care. It's a PB7, which means it's outside of Burris's range, or, um, or it's within Seaver's range. 
So receiver's in charge. That's 34, which is a strikeout. So that's two down. And that brings up Bobby Mercer. And it's a PB7, which is within um, Seaver's range. And it is a 62, which is an out. And he is an LN. LN is a G6, so that's a ground out to short with a possible error. And uh, error is none. So they don't get any runs despite getting a man over to third. They've had some chances, but... Um, Let's see, Mercer, six to three, no runs. In the seventh, we go to the bottom of the seventh with the reds up and Foster at the plate. And that is a nine, which is outside of Burris's range. And uh, his reading is a 73, which is an out. And he is an RP, which is an F8 fly out to center field for Foster. One down. Next one is a five. That's within Burris's range. Um, and it's a random 27, which is a balk, but that doesn't matter because there's nobody on. So we pick the next one, which is a 28, which is also a balk, but again, doesn't matter. There's nobody on. We pick the next one, which is a 37, and that's a strikeout. So two away. Johnny Bench, that was Johnny Bench who struck out. And then that brings up Dan Dreesen. And he gets a six, which is within, is outside of Burris's range. It's on. Greason's card, who has a home run today, and it's a random 54, which is an out, and he is an LN, and LN is L3, which is a line out to first base. And so the Reds score nothing there, and we go to the top of the eighth. Thank God we're getting near the end of this game. Um... And I think Bobby Mercer was up last inning, was he? He was. So we're up to Bill Buckner now, batting against... Um, you know what? The Reds are going to take Seaver out. He goes seven good, seven really good innings. But they don't need him to keep pitching. They're going to bring in Tom Hume. Tom Hume is an RR8, so we set him back to eight. And Bill Buckner at the plate. That is a PB9, which is outside of Hume's range, so it's on Buckner's card. And, uh, yeah, let's write Hume in here. Um, and that is a CD, which means go to the next card, because uh, nobody's on. It's a PB, uh, that's a random 75, a random 75, which is an out. It's an out on anybody's card anyway. LN, which is all go F8. So he flies out to the center fielder. One down. Next batter is Dave Kingman. That's a three, which is within Hume's range. So he's in charge. And he gives up a 15, which is a single to left field. So Kingman with a single. And that knocks... Um, Hume down one. Then you've got a PB4, which is within the range of uh, Hume's card. And then you got a random 33. Random 33, which is a strikeout. And that was Trio. So there's two down. And Greg Gross up. Greg Gross, for which I have a autographed baseball from Greg Gross. We got a PB10, uh, which is outside of Hume's range, so it'll be on Gross's card. And it's a 66, which is an out. He's an LN. 
that is all go G6, which is a ground out to the shortstop with a possible error. Um, error 9 to 10. Again, I don't know really what that means. Um, so I'm just going to say if, it, if it's an error if he's a 2, which he I think he is. Uh, the shortstop for the Reds is Concepcion, and he is a two. So that is, I'm going to say that's an error on Concepcion, and Gross is on by an error. E6. And now they've got two on, and that reduces Hume another. You got an eight which is outside of Hume's range, so it's going to be on the next batter, which is on Tavares, and you've got a 78, which is an out. He is an SN. All go F9, which is a fly out to right field. So the Cubs, again, another threat, and another threat that yields no runs. So they have no runs there in the top of the eighth. We go to the bottom of the eighth. And... Um, is con yes, Concepcion is up. Um, the Burris is going to be out. So we're going to say Burris. We're in the 8 3. And we're going to bring in another pitcher for the. Who I guess will they'll bring in Donnie Moore. They don't have a lot of real good choices. He's an RR8, so we'll set him back to eight. Concepcion up. He gets a PB4, which is within Donnie Moore's range, and he gets a 47, um, which is on Donnie Moore's card is a pass ball. Or no, no, it isn't. It's a wild. It's a wild pitch. The same difference. Um, so we'll pick another one, which is a 58, which is an out, and Concepcion is an RN, so an RN is a G6A with a possible error. So that is a ground out to the shortstop with a possible error, and there is no error. So that's one down. For Concepcion in the eighth, yeah. Six to three. And uh, you have uh, the next batter is Caesar Geronimo. That is a CD, so we'll pick another one. That's an eight. That is with, uh, it's going to be on Geronimo's card. That's an 88, which is an out. He is an LN. All go G5 with a possible error. That's a ground out to third base and there is no error so it's five to three and then you have mercifully Tom Hume up and they're just gonna let Tom Hume bat I mean the score is nine nothing it's a PB8 which is within um, uh, the, the pitchers uh, batting card and it's an 11 which is a first base single um, so, let's see here. This is Hume. Hume with a base hit. And that is going to reduce more by one. And it brings up Pete Rose. Pete Rose rolls an eight, which is outside of Donnie Moore's range. So it's going to be on Pete Rose's card. Flip them. Shuffle a little bit. And you got a 67, which is an out. Again, mercifully. And it's an SN, which is a G4, which is a possible error on the second or to second base. And there is none. So, um, 
that is an out by rows four to three and we go to the top of the ninth if the Cubs don't get a run here and let's hope that they don't well if they don't get nine runs right here and let's hope they don't but I don't think they're going to um, you do have Ontiveros up at the plate though um, against Hume and that is a PB7 that's outside of Hume's range it's on Ontiveros' card it's a 54 54 on his card is an out and the out is he is an SN which is an F9 fly ball to right field one down the next batter is Dave Rader and you have a PB10 outside of his range it's on Raider's card Raider has a 25 Raider has actually been quite good today uh, that's a home run. Dave Raider hits a home run. Unbelievable. Thank God he's not going to affect the final outcome of the game or extending the um, game any longer. The pitcher is up to bat, but of course he's not going to bat for the Cubs. It will in fact be... Um, it'll be Jerry White. Jerry White will come in to pinch hit. And he picks a three, which is within Hume's card. That is a 61, which is an out. And Jerry White is an SN. SN is a uh, G5, which is a ground out to third with a possible error, but there's no error. So he goes five to three. There's two down, and we are in the home stretch. You got to feel with Ivan De Jesus up, and he gets a six, which is within Hume's range, and a random 36, which is a strikeout. And finally, this game, mercifully, finally, the game ends, and uh, they get one run, and so the Cubs ended up uh, losing this game nine to one, and uh, I know the score sheet. It looks like I didn't um, score it right, or that it would be really the eighth inning, but it's, I just put it in the wrong place. I think. I think I just put stuff in the wrong place. But that was the ninth. So the uh, Cubs, and if it's not, it's a rain delay, and they lost in, and they decided not to resume the game. Whatever. So the Cubs lose 9-1 to to the Reds, 1978. Hope you enjoyed the game, and that's it for me, Sportsman Z. Bob Zolke, signing off.